Alright, so I'm pretty sure if you are watching this video, you are having trouble with vocal compression. Maybe you've watched a whole bunch of tutorials that just aren't helping. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a simple and effective technique to actually getting a better vocal sound, making sure your vocals are more consistent. So we're going to be doing that in this video. So for today's example, we'll be using the Sofago Rap Vocal Effect. You can check out this uh, preset pack in the description. It comes with all these presets without the vocals so that you can record your own projects. You can definitely check that out. Link in the description. But yeah, we'll take a listen to the song real quick and then I'll show you how I make use of compression and FL and how to get that sound. Let's get it. Don't call my phone, I'm in the studio right now. Say once a lot, I got my plug on speed dial. I've been kind of racks all week. Sipping lean, can't sleep. Yeah, I'm cooking way too clean. Got me stacking all this green. Give someone a come up, there's no way I could come down. These hoes are real fake, there's no one I can trust now. All these hoes real reckless, this party get wasted. Chris Blunt got me faded, she said, that boy, you amazing. All these work got me flexed up, blow back, put that on my neck. If I spend it, gon' make it pay. Big gun, long clip on the tech. Work hard and you gon' get a check. Pull up and that boy got a break. Knock, knock, yeah, we got them sticks. Alright, so there you go. Simple but effective, right? So all I'm really doing is I am stacking compression, okay? A lot of people hear about this term, stacking the compressors, but how do you do that in FL Studio and which plugins do you use first, second? I'll answer that for you. Alright, so the first compressor that we're going to be using is the Fruity Limiter. This is a stock limiter within FL Studio and it's really going to help us get that sound that we want. Okay, so we have two compressors that we're going to be focusing on. I'll add a little bonus on the sound goodizer. We'll talk about that last. But um, most importantly, man, you want to evenly divide how much work each compressor is going to be doing. That's the secret, right? As I said before, a lot of people are squeezing their vocals to the point where it's just not sounding natural to the ear. At the end of the day, we want our mixing process to sound natural. We want our vocals to sound good, right? So I'll show you how to do that. So first things first, I'll play the track a little bit just so you can um, pretty much kind of you know, see what type of compression we're doing, right? This visually allows you to see what's going on. So let's do that. Don't call my phone, I'm in the studio right now. Say once a lot, I got my plug on speed dial. Alrighty, there you go. That's enough for us to see what's going on. And as you can see right here, that yeah was an initial kind of pop in the track, right? It kind of shocked all the plugins. But this plugin is going to allow, you know, um, it's going to make sure that everything sounds balanced before hitting the rest of the chain. It's always important to have a compressor like this. Now, the secret to this is to have a fairly fast attack, especially for mixing rap vocals. A fast attack is going to give your vocals a kind of really nice natural distortion sound. Um, you want to have as well a kind of fastish or kind of medium to slow release time. That way it's not going to be releasing too fast and cause what we call a pump pumping effect so you know that's what you want and as you can see right here this blue line is what represents the threshold now for those who don't know much about compression um the threshold is basically where you're telling your compressor to start compressing so anything above this line is going to be compressed how much compression is going to occur is going to be determined by the ratio in this track we have a ratio of 2.2 to 1 so basically that means for every 2 dB that our vocal goes over the threshold, we're gonna be compressing, okay? Doesn't really matter. Visually, you can see what's going on. Don't squeeze your vocals, simple and sweet, right? If you want a little bit more of an analog tone, you can actually um, put the saturation down to your threshold. That way, whenever you uh, exceed the threshold, you're also gonna be gaining a little bit of kind of tape effect. So that's quite fun if you'd like to gain some extra kind of warmth, okay? But point is, this compressor, simple and sweet, is just gonna be acting as kind of our guard to the rest of our vocal chain, okay? It's gonna make sure that anything that is kind of popping out is gonna be nicely tamed, okay? Simple and sweet, all right? The next compressor, so once we've done our DSing, once we've done our EQ, it's time to add another compressor, okay? The reason I'm adding this compressor after EQ is because as you can see, I've got this really crazy treble EQ, right? Now, since this compressor is not doing any heavy compression, there are still gonna be parts to the vocal that are gonna be kind of jumping out. And so this compressor, again, is acting as guard too, okay? So what this one is gonna be doing is a little bit more hardcore compression. As you can see, we've got the threshold tucked down a little bit more, okay? But it's really gonna be acting as that kind of glue compressor now i've left the attack and release default right to what it is when you load this plugin up i've then set the ratio to two to one so it's still doing kind of a moderate amount of compression nothing crazy nothing four to one six to one nothing like that right but the secret here is that we're using this type 
vintage, okay? Now, the vintage mode is kind of cool. You can read about this in the manual if you'd like. But basically, it's going to be adjusting the attack and release in a variable manner, okay? So the more you compress, you know, the release is going to change. It's a bit complicated, right? But at the end of the day, we're getting a kind of nice glued sound, okay? So as you can see, this one is acting as that kind of initial guard. And then this one is doing the glue compression okay so you can see how both compressors are doing a different job in a different place in the chain okay don't just think that you must compress then you must eq it doesn't really work like that in mixing okay so if i was to actually turn these off you can really hear how well I'll turn off um each one by one so you can really hear the relationship going on here right so think about this one is that snappy kind of distortion and this one is that glue okay just skip into the track don't call my phone, I'm in the studio right now yeah. Say once a lot, I got my plug on speed dial so can you hear how we kind of lose a bit of that kind of sparkle in the vocal? You'd think that sparkle is coming just from the EQ, but uh, it really is coming from that fast attack on the compressor, okay? Don't call my phone, I'm in the studio right now. We also get a little bit more of that weight going on. So really cool. And then the glue. Don't call my phone, I'm in the studio right now. Yeah. Say once a lot, I got my plug on speed dial. I've been kind of racks all week. So as you can hear, this compressor is really just helping that kind of low bass stick into the mix in a proper way, right? You have to think about compression, not just as, you know, you compressing a vocal, but also making sure that every different section of the vocal is tamed, okay? So if you've got excess bass, a compressor may help you to actually just tuck in that vocal and have everything sound a bit more leveled, okay? That's where when you over compress, you make everything sound unnatural. The human voice does not sound like that, okay? So so hopefully this video made sense. Um, the bonus, again, we're using a little bit of sound goodizer. This is just adding a little bit of kind of parallel compression to the vocal. Um, this is a really easy plugin to use. I like to use this in very tiny amounts. I personally like to use the A and then the C function. And that really just helps me to get that initial kind of, or that added on sparkle to the vocal. It doesn't really ma make much of a difference. Don't call my phone, I'm in the studio right now. Yeah, say once a lot, I got but just adding a little bit more sparkle to the mix. Um, so yeah, man, hopefully this video made sense. Definitely make sure to start getting in the habit of stacking your compressors and adding compressors in for valid reasons, okay? You're not just adding a compressor because you want to add a compressor, okay? Um, but yeah, man, you know, definitely have fun mixing. If you want to learn more about my recording process, my mixing process, you can definitely check out the vocal recording course as well as the vocal mixing course for FL Studio where I show you how I set up my microphone, show you how I set up... Um, you know a template from scratch how we get all of our fix set up um, again check out this template as well link will be in the description but yeah man hopefully have a great day keep mixing keep working towards your goals and i'll check out next time peace out